morning everyone. Uh, it's right here. Uh, it's a wonderful, beautiful day on the East Coast of New Jersey. Um, recently, I posted some videos of me doing some stick work, some blade work, and uh, of me trying to get back into my groove with my training. And uh, I've got a lot of requests from my former students to put up some tutorials train since I'm not in Austin anymore I moved back to the East Coast so I did decided to do a little intro before I start doing tutorials um, so here on the table is a few of my training tools that I use and what I would recommend for anyone that's deciding to get into this kind of training is even though it's kind of I wouldn't say disrespectful because it's not disrespectful, but this is a foam stick. You can't hurt anybody with this. This is what I usually start off my students with because in the training, you're gonna hit yourself before you learn the timing and the, the distance and everything with the training tool. But this is a foam stick. This is what I recommend everyone to start with. Um, moving on, this is what they call a burnt rattan stick. It's very light. So this would be the next tool that I would tell people to start with after the uh, foam stick. It's very light, you can manipulate it really easily. Uh, now this one is one I use. This is another burnt rattan stick, but it's, as you can see, it's a little thicker, so it's a little heavier. I, I think that once you start learning how to be able to manipulate the sticks, you should train with a heavier stick because you can always go backwards and the lighter stick would be easier to manipulate after you're using a heavier stick. So this is the next one. Uh, this one's a little harder because you know you got to know somebody to get this kind of stick. This is a, a Bahi stick. Uh, very heavy, very heavy and I like this one. I owe this one to my wife. She got this for me when she went back. This one is the beautiful Kamagong. Now this is a thinner version of it, but it's very heavy and very solid. They call this ironwood because it's so dense. I love this one. This one is the same thing, Kamagong, a little heavier, uh, obviously painted, painted black. I owe this one to my pastor. He brought this back when he came back from the Philippines. And uh, these are my special and this is uh, another Bahi uh, training blade. This one's a Bolo, and I, I love this one because it's a little smaller. You can manipulate this. So this is one of my training tools. And this one is a trainer for my bros down in Austin, uh, Street Forge Armory. They makes these. They make these for uh, people to train before they get to the blades. So this would be the last stop before you got to the blades would be these trainers. This one in particular is an Etoc. And I love this one because it, it's as close as I've seen to a machete. And so I use this a lot when I'm training before I do some of the stuff with the blades. Uh, this one here is my old katana from when I used to do kendo. I always keep this around because, you know, I love it, it's very sharp. Uh, this one here is the tie blade, uh, cold steel, very beautiful. See it has a long handle and a long blade. This one is my cutlass machete. I just got this, I just got this in. <laughs> I love this one. I'm gonna do a lot of work with this one. This one has the curved blade and the guard. Uh, very beautiful. And then this one is just my, you know, my regular machete. This is basically a cheap machete from Walmart. It costs about six bucks, but it's, it's lovely to train with. It's sharp and all that stuff. And it's a good training tool. So uh, in a minute, we're gonna go over my initial 
tutorial. So, I'll see you in a minute.